Hi guys, this is Sadek from Godwin.com. In this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest the Clover ROM Android 16 base on the Moto G54 and the G64. So please take a backup of all that on your phone and let's get started. So first off, get Android SDK from my article, extract them onto your PC. You may do so anywhere you want. In my case, I've done that in C drive. And as you could see, the following are the files of platform tools over here. One that is done. Now enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. For ADB command, you require the debugging and for unlocking the phone, OEM unlocking is required. So let's enable both the toggles onto our phone. For that, go to settings. And from settings, go to about phone. And tap on build number seven times. Okay, go to device and fires. And then tap on build number seven times. Then go back. Again, go back, go to system. Dev options. And enable OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. Now tap on OK. You might get one more prompt, tap on allow. And with this, the debugging is now enabled. Let me first verify that as well. For verification, type in CMD in the address bar of platform tools. Hit the enter key and now type in the command of ADB devices. And verify you are having an ID. As you could see in our case, we are having this ID. If that's all well and good. Now you have to unlock the phone. So for that, we have made an article and a video. In short, boot the phone to fast boot mode. Then type in the command fast boot OEM unlock. OEM get unlocked data, you get this code, send this code to Motorola, they will then email you a new code. So type in the command forward OEM unlock and then that new code from Motorola, hit the enter key, the phone will now be unlocked. And once that is done, please re-enable USB debugging once again. Moving on, now get the ROM file. Over here, the GApps variant is there only. So get the ROM and the IMG files. The IMG file will also be in a zip format. Let me show you what I mean. This is the ROM files over here. And this is the IMG format files, all the IMG files are there inside the boot and the vendor boot are there inside the zip file. Don't extract the zip file, simply copy both the file, the IMG and the ROM file, copy the file from here, paste the file inside platform tools, which is over here. Now let's do a renaming for the ROM. Let's just rename it to ROM and the name becomes ROM.zip. So let's do that. ROM.zip. Then for the IMG format, let's say IMG.zip. Once that is done, your next action is to boot the phone to the fastboot D mode. Yes, not the fastboot mode, it's a fastboot D mode. Because you have to flash the IMG file in the fastboot D mode only. So type in the command as follows. So type in the command of ADB, reboot, fastboot, and hit enter. The phone should now be in the fastboot D mode in just a few seconds. So let's wait for that to complete. And then type in the command of fastboot devices and hit enter. Just give me a few more seconds. I will now hit the enter key after we are in the fastboot D mode, which should not be in time soon. So wait for a few more seconds for that to happen. After this logo, we should be inside the fastboot D mode now. And you could now see we are in the fastboot D mode. So type in the command fastboot devices, hit the enter key and verify you're having this ID. If you're not having any ID, then please install the fastboot drivers onto your PC. The fastboot driver link is given in my article. Install it from here. Then do a right click on the windows icon and choose device manager. Expand the Android phone section and verify your phone is shown here. As you could see in our case, our phone is not shown here. If that's all well and good, let's now flash the ROM file. But before that, let's flash the IMG file as well. So the command is over here. Password skip reboot update img.zip. So paste the command here, hit enter. We have just two files, the boot and the vendor boot in the fastboot D mode. Once that is done, the phone should not boot to the fastboot mode as you could see. Automatically that will happen once it's in the fastboot mode. Now boot to the newly flashed recovery file. So for that the command is as follows fastboot reboot and recovery. The phone should now be in the recovery mode, the USB recovery which we have just flashed. This will take 8 to 10 more seconds, I guess, at the very max. So let's wait for that to happen and then our phone should now be in the newly flashed recovery. Let's see that. After which we'll flash the recovery, the ROM file using that recovery only. This will take just a few more seconds for that to happen. After this logo, we should now be inside the USB recovery, which is the, the Clover ROM recovery. And we are now inside the recovery. So first off, go to factory reset, format data. Once again, format data. Data wipe is now complete. So go back, choose apply update from ADB. And first off, type in ADB device here and verify you're having a sideload keyword. Let me show you that. You could see side load if that's all fine. So now type in the command of adb side load, the file name which is rom.zip and hit enter. The flashing will now start, take up to around four to five minutes. 
so let's wait for that to complete so guys the flashing is just about to get complete in a matter of few seconds so let's move with the next step as you could see we have flashing is done now if you want to flash any other zip file such as magic or any file type on yes or else type on no in my case i want to flash gif but that is there in the rom already so there is no need to flash any other file for me so i am typing on no finally please do a format data once again if you flash any file or not that does not matter please do a formatting at the very last so go to factory reset format data once again format data data wipe is now complete you may now tap on reboot system now the phone will now boot to the os but the first booting will take up some time i guess 30 to 40 seconds with that said let's at least have a look at the boot logo or the boot animation which should appear after a few more seconds after this we should see the moto logo and then we will have the boot animation of the rom that will signify the flashing button successfully and that should appear after this in a few more seconds so let's at least keep a tab on the boot logo and after the boot logo we should again have to wait for a few more seconds so this is the boot animation let's now give it some more time so guys we are now inside the os so let's get started if you want you may connect to wifi then link your account as well the google account and then restore all the app data but that will take a lot of time i am skipping that for now let's just see the os ui ux and all the features of this rom skip all the other aspects and i guess that is just about it we are now inside the os we have a few pre-installed apps apart from the g apps any other third party app is there okay i cannot see any other third party app that's weird to see the new qs tiles as you could see over here settings menu it's also revamped then any tweaks present over here in this section or not okay let's have a look at first off in the, the display section which is here and dark theme i have pure black is there or not that is there this i just love the pure black theme you must sure hide the item from this section in the status bar color contrast refresh rate let's choose 120 at all times that will lead to some more battery drainage but that's fine for me double twist for camera tap to wake tap to sleep tap to wake is working sorry tap to sleep and tap to wake both are working now hide screen capture status ignore window secure flags this will you could not take a screenshot on all the banking and payment app as well and streaming apps without any issue whatsoever display features hbm not required ambient display gestures okay use ambient display when you get a notification but aod currently if okay this is the aod screen as you could see then let's see the system section there are some tweaks there as well i have seen generally it's there in the gesture section any new mode try to take a screenshot let's keep this enabled and it's working as well double tap to check phone it's fine power button nothing moto gestures okay all the gestures are there that's great to see in this custom rom let's tap gestures haptic feedback single tap show aod let's say open the dialer app and see if it's working or not on a single tap you could see it's currently working that's great to see no issue with this as well now apart from that let's see the wallpapers and style section which is over here and we have any wallpaper okay there are a lot of wallpapers the gradient style wallpapers are there then we also have the which is ashura collection okay that's nice one plus wallpapers are there as well i just love these one plus initial wallpapers from the, i guess one plus six i suppose anyways let's set that for both the home and the lock screen then you may also change the colors from here or from this section if required switch back to light theme or dark theme from here let's go to the light theme for now then after that you may change the clock size from here for now let's choose this one in the home screen you may enable theme icons and they are not enabled change the upgrade size let's choose 5 plus 5 which is what i always use well okay now it's fine then icons in status bar let's go with the samsung style it's enabled the font style there are various fonts to choose from Acknolica is the one which i usually go with so that's great applied icon shape let's choose the pebble if it's there or not pebble is there apart from that you could see there are various other icons for now let's go with the pebble one and it's applied as well you could see then in the home settings 
you may use third party icon from here give it notification dot access the launcher it's lower launcher they have their own launcher okay allow notification dots is given now in the home screen you may carry out these tweaks tap to sleep we have already had a look at that at a glance status bar dock background opacity search bar so this is the search bar in the home screen and this is the at a glance both are currently turned on you could also turn off just swipe to access google app that can be turned off as well all the options are given here for now let's keep this enabled theme icon in the app drawer enable that as well in the recent app screen screenshot clear all only two options are there they both are already enabled by default miscellaneous tweaks that is it so guys that's all from this video okay this color has been changed and i am not a fan of this i'll have to change that if you have any query with regard to any of the flashing steps or want to know any features if they are working or not let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching